Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, customizing the Premiere Pro timeline. Now by default, the Premiere Pro timeline has everything collapsed and it has a very small, efficient view. But of course you can change that, open it up, but there's lots more that you can do to make the, the, the timeline customizable to what you want. Let's go have a look. So on the left hand side, it's important to know that we're divided into four different areas on the timeline. There's the uh, video header, there's the video tracks, audio header, and audio tracks. And this area in here is where you can raise and lower either by clicking and dragging or using the scroll wheel of your, your mouse or even double clicking in an area will raise that up and lower it down. If you hold the shift key down while you're using your scroll wheel, it opens all of them at the same time. Same for audio. So you're opening all of the tracks. Now, if you like to have a specific view, let's say that you like V1 open, a1 and A2 and this is your special uh, timeline that you like. In the little wrench icon here you can click inside and you can create a preset. So I'm going to save a preset and call this Collins timeline and now when I go back over here you can see Collins timeline is there. So I'll minimize it all and I'll go back and I'll choose Collins timeline. Boom! Very easy. You can also turn on and off different areas inside here. So let me zoom in so we see a little bit more. Uh, you can see that I've, I've, I've got some views of the actual frames inside here. And if I click on the wrench, I have three choices. Show video thumbnails, show video keyframes, and show video names. So if I turn off the thumbnails, then you can see that I'm just looking at those placeholder blocks for each clip. And I can also turn on show keyframes. So by default, this is the opacity keyframe and I could change the opacity by dragging that keyframe up and down. I'm also showing video names and I can do that for audio. You can see down here in the bottom, same thing as, as the, the top. I get to show the waveform or not for audio, show the audio keyframes. And if I want, I can show the audio names of each one of those clips. All right, and I can show clip markers if I want. I can show duplicate frames, and this is a, a great thing to have if you're working on video and you have duplicates of that video. So if I grab, let me just go over to the end here, and there's this video. I'm holding down the Alt key. Um, or the option key on Mac and dragging, you can see there's purple line is telling me that this video is the same as that video. It's duplicate. So if I delete that, it gets rid of that. Okay, so I have the option of turning on and off duplicate frames. Um, I can also so show through edits. A through edit is when I have an edit like I have right here, and I'll just grab my razor blade tool and click inside here and you'll see this little indicator, this like little bow tie, which is telling me that I have a cut, but I, I'm not missing any frames inside here. So that's a through edit and you can turn that on or not and you can join those through edits. You can also show these effects badges and you can see the badges just disappeared and when I go back and click on them, they show up. The badges will change color depending on what you have going on inside here, whether you have intrinsic effects or other effects. And we'll get to that in another uh, reveal. Uh, but you can turn those on or off. Uh, you can also customize the video header and the audio header. Now when I click this, I'm just going to collapse all my tracks and just show you they're all closed. And when I choose Customize Video Header, it opens one of them to allow me to drag things in or out of this. This particular old uh, feature called a Sync Lock, I can drag that right out, click OK, and I don't see that anymore. That Sync Lock has been around for a long time. I get questions about it all the time. And if you don't like it, you can throw it out. I just, I leave it there. I just don't use it. All right. 
even more important is the audio header. And I'll click on this and it opens up the track and here we can drag in different things. We already have our mute button and solo button. And we also have a button to record a voiceover. We have our track volume, keyframes, go to the next keyframe, add or remove a keyframe, left and right balance. This one's very useful, a track meter. Watch when I drag this down and I have an option of where I'm gonna drag it. I'll drag it in the top and let go. And now when I click OK, you'll see that each track has a meter now. And when I hit play, I get a track meter inside here. So customizing the Premiere Pro timeline is really powerful. It allows you to work in an editing environment that you feel comfortable with. I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. And until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.